gentlemen, welcome to P&G Technologies. We are a supplier of custom propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the example conversion on the Honda. This is the EU 6500 IS. Uh, this is the inverter. So we're going to show you a custom kit on it for propane and then natural gas and we'll uh, go ahead and get started on that and show you how to do it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go ahead, there's four clips on the air cleaner cover here. Actually, the filter's in this, but this is just a cover box with a boot in the back. So we'll go ahead and I just take a flat blade screwdriver and just pop them up. It's not a very good setup, but it works. That one, they just kind of clip off, so... Just watch they don't go flying in there. And we'll undo the hose back here. Okay. And now we've exposed the nuts so we can get them off because um, we're going to put our slim adapter in here. So we'll go ahead and remove the tube here. Okay. And these are 10 millimeter inside here. So we'll go ahead and remove the bolts or the nuts actually. Two of them in there. There's one. And we'll go ahead and get this one. Okay, got that one off. Now, what we need to do is we have to get there's a Phillips screwdriver back here on the top of the boot okay let's go ahead and loosen that up and it's like a little uh, section that goes down to the air cleaner here which is a pretty nice little setup and just go ahead and pull this out there pull the boot up that part right there I just unloosened it back in that so we did that we'll go ahead and show you the next steps all right, now that we've got our gasoline carburetor exposed, um, when we install our slim adapter on here, okay, obviously it brings it out a little bit. So when you put the air cleaner cover back on, there's not enough meat to put the nut back on. So what we got to do is there's a metal plate on here. You're going to remove this. You will not reuse this here. We're going to supply you a gasket for that. So what we're going to do is when you get your set of vice grips, don't go to the ends, obviously, because you'll never be able to get the nut back on unless you got a die you can retap it with. But go ahead and get down on them. And these aren't too bad to take out. Lock down pretty good on them. And just give them a quick pop, and they'll turn. See, that turned really easy on me. And I'm going to bring these out about a quarter inch. Now, you'll have to back and forth with it just to make sure it all fits on there. Just want to be able to get the air cleaner cover back on. And obviously I'm gnarling up the threads in the inside. But as long as I got the meat for the outside, I'm okay. Okay. So we'll just do that there. We'll go to the back one. Lock down. And hear it pop. Go ahead and pull them out. This one's a little tougher. Now you can double nut them if you want. It's up to you. I just do it this way. It's quicker for me. You know, and it might not fit the first time. You know, I have to take it back off and see if it goes again, you know. So we'll keep pulling them out. Like I said, I'm coming out about a quarter of an inch. And there's plenty of meat going back into this. They're in there almost an inch. You're only coming out a quarter, so there's plenty back there. Okay, we'll get this one, bring it out a little bit more. And what I'll do is just put the gasket on there. This is going to be the one we're going to supply you. Set the adapter back on here, okay, and then we're going to get another gasket. OK, 
Okay, we'll get that gasket on there. And we'll just see if we got clearance. If we do, then we're good to go. It looks like it's sticking out pretty far. Let's see if we can get this to... I always put it in that back section first. Kind of bring your hole up, line them up. That's plenty. That will definitely work. So, we've already got our gaskets on both sides. Make sure you're, it's back in that tube back there. Go ahead and get your nuts back on. One more here. Fairly easy. Okay. Go ahead and get those tight. I really didn't even have to bring them out that far on that. All right, that's good. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get our hose hooked up here. We'll tighten our boot back here. Okay, and then we'll show you the next steps. Okay, now that we've got these tightened up here, we got our boot tightened back there. We've got our top breather on here. We're gonna go ahead and just put the air cleaner back on. Um, take your hose, feed it back through like it was back here, okay. Go ahead and put your cleaner on. Pop your clips back on. The toughest one is that back one. Um, it's, and it's not horrible, so. Okay, we'll go ahead and get this back one on here. Okay, and then we'll pop the back one on up here. Okay, that'll do that. All right, we'll go ahead and show you the next steps on it. Okay, now what we gotta do, because we're going to install our fuel hose off the adapter, and instead of drilling a hole through the door or mounting anything there, I chose what we're gonna do is mount a nice clean bulkhead right here, okay? So this will be the only drilling that you have to do on it. And then what we're gonna do is, it's easier for you to install this fitting on the one side first, so when you come back in here, you can slide it through and tighten it up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down from the top of the panel around three and a sixteenth of an inch, okay? And all you're gonna do is just kind of center this portion and make sure that you've got your clearance back here. So I got a step drill bit, which makes it really nice. Um, if you don't have one, you can use a hole saw and then just match this hole right here and then you're good to go. So I kind of just put some paper towel in here to catch any shavings, uh, that way I got it. that fitting down okay so we'll just hold that and we'll get our lock washer and nut on here that way it's a nice little clean little setup and then just hold that fitting in the back back there straight down okay you might sometimes just spin on you. You'll just have to get a wrench. That's pretty good right there. That's nice and tight. Okay, we'll go ahead and show you the next step. 
Okay, now that we've got everything done in the inside, um, what we're going to do is mount the regulator on the outside. Now, we make a custom setup here with a bracket that's going to mount to the two bolts off the back here. Okay, what we're going to do is remove those two bolts. Okay, take that one out. That one out. And we'll supply you longer ones. Okay? So what we're going to do is on the bottom one, because this space is out a little bit up here, I give you two extra washers for down here. So go ahead and thread it in. Get those two. Okay? And we'll go ahead. Oh! Got to get it the right way. There we go. Okay, get that thread it through. Get the two on there. I'm like, uh oh, the wheel's in the way. No, I had the wrong way. Okay, we'll get that set. Again, we'll supply you some new hardware here for this. They're a little bit longer, obviously. Okay, we'll get this one set in there. Get those tightened. Get this one. That's a nice little setup. Now we'll go ahead and show you the next steps and then we'll go ahead and get her running for you. Alright, now we got the regulator installed. We'll go ahead and get our hose mounted in between here. Go ahead and get your clamps on. Go ahead and put them on both sides. Just slide it on. Get this one up there. We'll get these tightened down. Hey, this is a real nice setup. I mean, this is pretty easy. It's a nice, clean setup, too. Um, we were a little went on our way with this one here a little bit with the bracket and stuff. But it just makes, you're spending a lot of money on these Hondas, and you want them to look nice. I know that. I would if I owned it, you know. So let's go ahead and get the last one on here. that's it we'll go ahead and show you how to run this thing next okay what we're going to do now is we'll get her hooked up to propane and get her bottle over here if you buy the propane kit with us you'll get all the connections for this for the tank and you can got choices of quick connects or the swivel ends um, and also the length on the hose so go ahead and get this on here shut the valve off Okay, checking that up. This is a three-quarter. And then we'll go ahead and get this on here. This is seven eighths, so you can use cracking wrenches. Whatever you have that's convenient. Turn our tip make. I always shut this off first. Turn this on nice and slow so you don't get a vapor lot. Okay, there we go. Got that. Set the tank on the ground because I got the exhaust on that side. Turn our valve on here. Now there's a manual primer button on the back of this, so you'll hit that one or two seconds just to get your burst of fuel in it. This is your main adjustment. In is lean, out is rich. Now we'll set these as close as we can. Every situation is a little bit different depending on the hours on the machine. So that's why you have this adjustment. All right, make sure that your fuel is off your gasoline and ran out. And we'll go ahead and hit the button. The cranker. Oh, boy. Okay. I love Honda. Just is going to go. Bring it back. Set it till she's smooth. Go ahead and lock it down. And you might have to adjust this according to the load going up and down. Check this off. Shut our fuel off. Then we'll show you the next step. Okay, now for natural gas. You would, this would not be on here. We will supply you the mail to go into here. You can also purchase the dust caps from us separately. Some people like them, some people don't. 
I like them because you can keep the dust and the bugs and all that. And then the hose that we sell, we either use a Parker or a Goodyear. You'll have your quick connects on them and you'll just connect to it on the natural gas. So that there is the steps on the Honda EU 6500 IS inverter. And we showed you the propane and a little bit about the natural gas. They're both the same steps except for just the fittings. And of course you need to find out your outlet pressure on your gas meter for natural gas because a lot of times we're running into four ounces and then we'll send you a four ounce regulator. So I, if you're interested in purchasing this kit from us, uh, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. I hope this video helped. Again, I love this unit. Um, Honda makes a real good unit. They all got their goods and bads, but Honda's obviously they're known for their quietness and stuff like that. So if, if you like this video, please hit the like button below. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.